close enough Pure as a dove and I'm waiting For the right person Never once been touched The power of God in my life A little bit over three years ago, I went celibate for the very first time in my life. Two of NoFap. I feel like now obviously this entire channel is about looks maxing becoming the best version of yourself and so many of you guys who watch my content because you want girls because you want to hook up with a lot of girls so today i'm going to kind of give you a different perspective because not to sound cocky or arrogant i literally have the choosing of anybody i want girls in relationships famous influencers playboy models they hit me up and i curve them most of the time and there are specific reasons for this which today i will break down so without further ado let's get in First of all, before you ask me in the comments, I'm not disclosing my relationship status, if I'm currently celibate, if I'm currently on semen retention, because frankly, that's nobody's business. If you are familiar with energy, frequencies, vibrations, everything vibrates at a specific frequency. Now the sexual frequency to where like you're out looking for all these girls, you're trying to hook up, you're jerking off all the time. This is actually the lowest vibration on the entire scale. Lust is a very low vibration. Whenever you're constantly hooking up with all these girls, you're watching the videos, doing all these things that you should not be doing, it's gonna lower your vibration. What happens whenever you lower your vibration? Essentially, you're not in tune with the universe. You cannot listen to your intuition. And so you really cannot connect with God and go down the path that you were truly supposed to go on. The biggest reason I chose to go celibate is actually for religious and spiritual reasons. So it's not going to be very good for your soul if you're going around just being an F boy. Do you just uh, look at my boobs? I was not my intention. I didn't uh, stare directly at them. You like if you're trying to sleep with all these different girls, if you're trying to just rack up your numbers because it's gonna boost your ego. Let me tell you something from life experience. It does not boost your ego. Maybe for that night, maybe for like a day, but overall it's gonna leave you feeling a lot emptier than if you were to connect with God and actually be doing what you are supposed to do. Actually staying on track with your life path. It's my personal belief that a man and a woman are supposed to come together and be very strong together. And so this new age, like degeneracy, like pure hedonism, especially where I live, it is a hedonistic place where I live. And so everyone just hooks up with each other, no relationships, no love, just purely off of how they want to feel in the very moment. And I don't really like this mindset. I prefer the old school traditional mindset. Andrew Tate actually specifically said this as well. My relationship with sex is involves love and I don't think it should happen outside of love. But if you were going out of your way to sleep with all these girls who do not care about you. They do not love you. You're wasting your energy. This is your life force. You're going out, you're sleeping with all these different women. You are losing your energy for your work, for your purpose, for God, everything. And so it's gonna make you a lesser version of yourself in my personal belief. Obviously I'm against hookup culture, just sleeping with all these different girls. So that's a big reason I went celibate. Then on the opposite end, I'm completely against the videos and then touching yourself. For a couple reasons. Number one, whenever you watch the videos, it's actually very closely correlated to a drug addiction. Like they've done brain scans of people who watch the videos on a daily basis and brain scans of people on heavy, heavy drugs and they literally look the exact same. So you're gonna have less gray matter in the brain and overall it's gonna make you a much worse version of yourself. In addition to that, touching yourself is actually gonna make sex much less enjoyable whenever you do have that loving partner. It's gonna be harder to hold that erection. It's gonna be harder to last longer. It's gonna be harder for the entire experience to be as enjoyable as possible. So that's another reason. Like I've said, I've had phases of degeneracy. I will say on camera in the past, I've had weeks where I would hook up with a different woman every single day of the week. And what I noticed is I would get into this cycle and I actually developed very, very bad mental health. Like the worst mental health of my life was whenever I was getting the most attractive woman on a consistent basis, but I hated my life. I hated everything. I was super, super depressed. So this is one thing I noticed from hookup culture. The scientific research shows that women get very depressed. It's bad for mental health. It's gonna increase anxiety. But from my experience as a man, it also really, really made my mental health much, much worse. To actually find the woman that you want to hook up with, this, these are not gonna be the places where my future wife is going to reside. So the nightclubs, the, the, the apps, like 
the woman of my future will not be in these places. So if you're in these places looking for the hookups, you are eliminating the opportunity to find your future wife. It's like if you're playing a video game, you want to play a two player video game, you and your wife, but you have all these different women in the player two slot. You, you go out, you meet them from Tinder, from the nightclub. They're always in that player two slot. How can your future wife fit into that slot? if there's always somebody there. So you have to leave this slot open, focus on your purpose, focus on your spiritual growth. And then vibrationally speaking, you will eventually find the right person for you. I only want high quality woman in my life. So phases of celibacy until you can find the high quality relationship. It's always gonna be worth it. Focus on your self-improvement journey, become the best version of yourself. Do not chase these girls, especially the ones who don't care about you. Link in the description box for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, Austin Wayne. I've transformed thousands of physiques into Greek gods, male models. You wanna be next? Link in the description box. Also, kalosync.com for the best supplements in the fitness industry. Don't forget to subscribe, man. Best self-improvement channel on YouTube. I love you with all my heart. Goodbye.